Hey there everyone, it's Val and welcome back to Token Craft 2, The Labors of Valentine. And today is the last tour for Season 2 of Token Craft 2 on the official server by Greater Raider. But we will be back, we'll be back with a Season 3 and I will, well, it's going to be at least two weeks but I'll let you guys know when it's closer to the time as to when we're actually going to be starting. So today I'm going to do a final look around my base. Uh, and if you're just watching this tour, I want to let you know that the basically both the afternoon stream and the evening stream of today, I got together with a lot of the people on the server here and got some guided tours of their bases. So basically the whole stream, we were going around to all the bases on the server and having a final look at all the, the work all the fantastic designs, just all the great ideas that people put into their bases. So if you have the time and you wanted to see a lot of cool bases, well, you should watch the streams. Otherwise, well, you'll have to settle for my base if you're just watching this one. <laughs> so, as I said at the uh, my last tour, this is the first base that I've actually felt comfortable saying that the base was done for the plans that I had in my head at the time that I started. I did add one final thing here. We have a nice little room woohoo, to grow nether wart. As you can see, they do grow in here, uh, but you have to remember to turn the light off or they're not going to grow. <laughs> when you look at the tool tip there, you can see this plant is fertile and can grow, which it cannot grow if the light is on. Right. Um, hmm. Just trying to figure out what I want to talk about. Hmm. Well, I just basically... Oh. Okay. I like that view. Yes. Yes, I like it. And I'm happy to report that I wasn't the only one getting lost in my base down here. Uh, Zephyr was getting lost down here too, so it's not just me. It is, in fact, a place you can get lost in now. So let's just go go upstairs. It's not. I'm not going to do a long end of the day tour here because I did show you all the new stuff. Uh, that I had done last stream. Really, it's just sort of a look, an overall look at the base itself. And the nice thing, actually the really cool thing that I have to, to tell you is that, actually there's two cool things, and both are thanks to Greater Raider. There will be a downloadable version of the base that you can get that will have everything in it, so you can put that on your world and play it, and Greater Raider is going to be providing that to me for you guys. And Greater Raider, thank you so much. That is so awesome. I really appreciate that. And the other thing I'd like to say is that Greater Raider has decided that the majority of my base here is going to become an elven village in the downloadable uh, portion of Token Craft 2 in the future. And in fact, this village is going to retain the name of my base. It's still going to be called Saren Valteras. So you guys will be able to go and visit the base in the, the mod pack itself. Even if you don't download my base, you can go and visit it. Of course, all the uh, machinery and stuff is going to be gone from it. But the, the build itself will be here. And we will not be retaining the tech portion of the base because it's going to become an elven village and elves don't do the tech. So pretty much everything upstairs is going to remain, but the portion of the base th that is not going to remain, well, well, basically this is going to be gone. There will be no reason to go down here because this won't exist. <laughs> the village will end here, basically the underground orchard, the farm, and of course the above ground portions will be retained, but this this will all be gone. So 
Yeah, I'm going to miss it. Actually, I'm going to miss it because we spent a long time here. Eight months. That is a long time to be on one world. Um, the powers that be tried to corrupt the world several times, but Greater Raider uh, or, uh, rescued it, and so it survived to get to this point. I don't know what I'm going to do next next season. Uh, I'm going to have to come up with something to top this, and I think that's going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to think long and hard about that. <laughs> I have a few ideas, but I'm not going to talk about them yet because they're, they're, they're just sort of nebulous things. They haven't... They're just a glint in my eye, as it were. They, they haven't re been fleshed out in any way, not even on paper, so I'll have to think about that. So, if you do download the base when we have it available for you guys, you will have one small project to do. Um, there is one small flaw in the current system, and let me just grab something to demonstrate it to you. Now that I've got all the things hooked up downstairs with all the A system and all the eight lines, the power draw, unfortunately, oh, come on, don't do a hit. You were doing so well. Stop that. Okay, thank you. The power draw causes my A system to go offline while the draconic chest is being used. So I'm pretty sure the only thing we need to do in order to fix that is to upgrade the hardened flux ducts to something better. So I'll leave that as a project for anybody that downloads the base. I'm sure you guys can handle it. <laughs> and the connection area for that upgrade actually starts over here. I have the conduit connecting, I think... Which side? Over here. You can see the power going through there. So start here. <laughs> It's all hooked up to one single power line, and that's why it's being drained dry. But as soon as this gets its power back, which will be very shortly, especially if I keep, uh, you know, just talking randomly about things, eventually. As soon as that power gets back in there, then you'll see the power come back over on the AE system. Any second now. Any second now. Any second. Yeah, man. Don't make me a liar. Okay, I think... There we go. Right. So, that's actually not too bad, considering how much I have hooked up to it. It wasn't until I expanded the AE system to the mob farm that we started having this issue. And I'm just wondering how close... Oh, so close to being full. Ah, my one regret. I had hoped to be able to come down here and say, yes, it's now full, but not quite. It's getting there, though. It's getting there. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to think. Do I have anything else to tell you or anything else to show you? But I don't think so. I think I'm going to go outside and... Look at my base and think about the eight months that we spent together building and designing and creating this this thing that didn't exist before. And I guess in some respects, some, some people might say, well, if this is a digital construct, it doesn't really exist. But, well, some people think life itself is a hologram that we don't really exist, we're all figments of something's imagination, so I don't know. To me, this is just as real as anything else. <laughs> just because I can't touch it with my hand. But I can touch it with this hand. So it's just as real. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm getting all philosophical and strange, and I think I should stop that before, you know, you call the guys, you know, with the straight jackets and whatnot, and carry me off to the loony bin. Hee hee. Ha ha. Ho ho. To the funny farm. <laughs> so you guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Season 2 of Tolkien Craft 2. I hope to see you again in the stream in Season 3. You take care now.
Bye.